Right now at 6 o'clock, a gas station window smashed as police are investigating an attempted uh, larceny overnight in Manchester. Human error being blamed for 14 absentee ballots not being counted in the Bridgeport primary. A former employee of Fotis Dulos under the microscope in the Michelle Traconis trial will tell you what police said he told them and what his truck has to do with it. This was all one week after Jennifer Dulos was last seen. All local, all morning. This is Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. Good Wednesday morning. Thanks so much for starting off your day here with us. I'm Erica Arias. And I'm Tim Lammers. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Still waiting on the sun to come out. <laughs> it's got a very central New York feel to it lately, <laughs> Matt Scott. I haven't seen yeah. the sun in a week. Ah. <laughs> I don't and, know where it's gone. And as we continue our salute to Syracuse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, those are words I've never said. Good morning. We are combing the skies, and I mean with a fine tooth comb looking for sunshine. In the meantime, Clouds. We got clouds, and we have plenty of clouds. And as a result, uh, we're just just stuck in the doldrums. Temperatures uh, rising over the next few days, and eventually in the seven day, we see some sun. It has been just tough out there, just dreary, and it continues to be so. Although with the clouds overnight, temperatures staying fairly mild. 26 in Torrington and Norwich were up to 30, and Putnam too were up to 33 in New Haven and Bridgeport. 30 right now in the capital. Temperatures a touch warmer later on today as we get into the upper 30s. But hey, um, yeah. Just can't seem to get rid of that. Uh, we will talk about a little bit of sunshine coming and then a lot of sunshine coming, I promise. That's all coming up in a few minutes. Rachel Piscatelli, this is just, just awful. I know, where's the sun? I just like on vacation. Can so, you do something about it? You, you, well, I'll work on it. Usually, <laughs> usually we, you know, we take a vacation sometimes in winter to go find the sun. Right. The sunshine has done the same thing. Exactly. I, I don't know what <laughs> The that sunshine means. says I'm done with you. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> All right, good morning, 602. Hopefully that fixes itself. Uh, we are looking at um, areas of road work wrapping up this morning already. Here's a live look outside over uh, East Hartford now where we are seeing pretty good conditions out there in terms of our drive times just over the Founders Bridge now. Over in Waterbury, Route 8 uh, northbound, we are dealing with that road work. You can see those cones that are still out there out by exit 30 through 33. That right lane is blocked at the moment, and this is going to be, again, Route 8 northbound, so expect some delays in the area southbound not impacted by the road work this morning. See more to show in its five minutes on the southbound of Route 8. Waterbury 25 to exit 18 on 84 east and westbound looking good at about a five-minute drive during that stretch. Tim and Erica, back to you. Rachel, thanks so much. All right, 603 right now. And new this morning, Manchester police are investigating an attempted ATM smash and grab at a gas station. It happened at the mobile near the intersection of Broad Street and Middle Turnpike. Yeah, Fox 61's Brooke Griffin is live there at that gas station with a look at the surveillance video from the scene. Brooke, what does that show? Yeah, right around one o'clock this morning is when this all started. Now, before we get to the surveillance video, I do kind of want to show you what they're dealing with this morning. A couple of the guys that uh, own the place and manage it are here now cleaning it up and getting it ready for the day. But they tell me around one o'clock, four people pulled up and tried to steal the ATM machine out of this store. They were unsuccessful, but they did cause quite a bit of damage. Take a look at this surveillance video, though. It shows just how exactly this worked. The owner tells us the thieves backed their Toyota SUV up to the store, got out, and busted the window with a crowbar, then tied a rope around the ATM and tried to pull that ATM right out that window. Now, the ATM machine is bolted to the ground, so it didn't move or break open completely, but it is a total loss due to the impact of the burglars pulling on it. It did break apart in some areas, but none of the money was accessible. He tells us a shelf got caught on the rope, causing it to hit the other window and shatter that one, too. There's now a large hole in the side of this man's store with glass and the products from the shelf all over the ground. The owner says he has never dealt with this kind of thing before, but he hopes that he can just board up and move on. You know, we can't do anything, you know, we have to follow whatever it is. And uh, it is a bad uh, day and uh, make sure everything clean it up and, uh, you know, ready for uh, another day. 
And right now there is no word on exactly if those thieves have been caught or police were able to catch up to anybody that could potentially be a suspect in this case. But that owner says that he is going to get cleaned up. As you can see behind me, they've already really got that well underway. And they do plan on being open at normal hours today and running just business as usual. Live in Manchester, Brooke Ruffin, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. All right, Brooke, thanks so Thank much. Thank you. Well, in Milford, surveillance video showing thieves breaking into a gas station and stealing an ATM. This is all happening at the Galaxy Fuel gas station on New Haven Avenue. The burglars are seen using a cable system to remove the ATM with the vehicle. We've been at right through the front door there. So far, no arrests have been made. And new this morning, an investigation is underway after a body was found in Torrington. Police told us the body was found on Stillwater Pond. They said the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection is investigating, and we're working to find out more about what happened. In Waterbury, police are once again reminding people to look out for a phone scam. So scammers are going to call you claiming to be from the police department, and they're going to say that you missed your jury duty or have a warrant out for your arrest and have to pay a fine. Don't do it. Instead, hang up. Don't give or confirm any personal or financial information. And if you think you've already been scammed, call police right away. Today, the bystander who stepped in during the assault of Representative Miriam Khan is expected to be in court. Jason Spencer is charged with assault after helping restrain Andre Desmond last year. Desmond is accused of attacking Khan outside of a prayer service at the Excel Center in June of 2023. That's when Spencer took action until police arrived. Despite the charges, Khan credits Spencer with saving her life. She's expected to attend today's hearing as well. Well, prosecutors in the Michelle Traconis trial turned their attention towards one of Fotis Dulos's former employees, and specifically a red Toyota Tacoma pickup truck that belonged to that former employee, Pavel Gumieni. Yesterday in Stamford Court, Police Sergeant Michael Bowton testified that he first encountered Gumieni one week after Jennifer Dulos disappeared. Bowton said Gumieni was in the process of taking seats out of Dulos's Porsche and putting them in his Tacoma. Bowton also said Dulos used that Tacoma. Prosecutors showed what it looked like, uh, what looked like that truck leaving one of Fotis's properties the morning that Jennifer Farber Dulos went missing. Approximately 5.30 in the morning, I observed what was consistent with a red pickup truck departing 80 Mountain Spring Road. You can't tell who's in it? No, sir. You can't tell how many people are in it, right? No. Well, prosecutors called more law enforcement members to the stand, and they showed screenshots of what police believe is that same Toyota Tacoma heading north and south on the Merritt Parkway the day Jennifer disappeared. This vehicle also consistent with a uh, uh, red Toyota Tacoma and, um, and also have the same characteristics as the vehicle uh, in the picture that I had. Now, Gumieni is on the state's witness list and is expected to testify. His lawyer said he's under subpoena and he will abide by that subpoena and that he's eager to put this whole thing behind him. So that trial expected to pick up again at 10 a.m. as it's been doing every weekday there in Stanford. You can watch it live on Fox 61 Plus. Well, the secretary of the state's office said there was an error in counting several absentee ballots in Bridgeport's redo of its uh, mayoral primary. Secretary Thomas said 14 absentee ballots were never opened. Her office said they were found during the monitoring process of copying the inner and outer envelopes. She said those unopened ballots were mistakenly mixed in with inner and outer envelopes of the absentee ballots that were counted. It's being blamed on human error, and it did not change the outcome of the election. Police say a man killed in a hit and run crash over the weekend in New Haven is 70 year old Dennis Eaton. Now that crash happening on L.T. Grasso Boulevard near Washington Avenue early Sunday morning. Eaton was walking across the street when a car hit him. The driver sped off and police are still trying to find out who is responsible. They're asking any witnesses to please come forward. And we also know that 16 year old Malik Sweets was the young man killed in a drive by shooting in New Haven. Officers say he was shot while walking near Huntington Street at about 7.30 Monday night. City officials in New Haven say more needs to be done when addressing gun violence. Whenever someone dies in New Haven um, because of gun violence, 
it is a tragedy. You know, for someone that's a 16-year-old boy uh, to lose their life because of gun violence is something that is just unacceptable. So, uh, so far, no arrests have been made in this case. And today, gun violence prevention advocates are going to gather in Waterbury to talk about ideas to prevent gun deaths. City officials, members of Mothers Against Mothers United Against Violence, and more are going to meet tonight to address the issues facing Waterbury. Now, this starts at 6 p.m. at Veterans Memorial Hall. The goal is to have a safe and healthy environment where families and neighbors can work together to prevent gun violence. The group Enfield Pride has canceled its upcoming Drag Story Hour at Enfield Public Library. In a statement on social media, the group said there was what they're calling an insinuation of violence regarding the event. However, the group didn't give any further details. That event was scheduled for April 20th. At 10 minutes after 6, we have breaking news in Hamden. Crews there pulled a car out of Lake Whitney this morning. Here is a look at the scene. We're still working to find out how the car got into the water and if anybody was inside. But as you can see, a lot of flashing lights, a big effort to get that car out of the water from this live look.